there's somebody that we need to talk about. It's Ian Thomas of the Panthers. And of course, an injury to Greg Olson opens up some opportunity for him. Yeah, Greg Olson, you know, if you were listening to the Fantasy Best Friends Forever on the Fantasy Sports Radio Network before the season started, you would have known not to draft Greg Olson. Uh, it's a little humble brag right there. Give myself the pat on the back. Greg Olson wasn't himself this year, whether it was the foot injury that's been hampering him all season or, frankly, just age catching up to him. He's been a very, very productive player in the NFL for a long, long time. But age is catching up to him. It, you know, Father Time catches up to everybody, especially when it comes, you know, to the tight end, constantly blocking, taking a lot of big hits as well. So Ian Thomas is the next tight end up. And, you know, it was Ian Thomas and Jonu Smith earlier on in the season when Delaney Walker and Greg Olson went down the first time. We were talking about these young tight ends who have an opportunity to step up. It took some time for Jonu Smith to get involved. And, you know, he's been much better as of late. He's been scoring touchdown for the Titans. Ian Thomas has a similar opportunity here. He played 75% of the snaps this past week in Week 13 once Greg Olson went down. And it's just a pretty good matchup. The Browns allowing the sixth most fantasy points to tight ends. They've allowed four touchdowns over their last four games. Ian Thomas this past week was targeted five times, caught all five of those for 46 yards. Does he have huge upside? Probably not. There's a lot of mouths to feed in the Panthers offense. But if you lost Greg Olson, Ian Thomas is the next tight end up. He did net just over seven fantasy points on FanDuel this past week, which for the tight end position, let's face it, you can't really complain.